We're heading back to Sargon, where we see the enemies of Origin and Dust and Gavial the Great Chief return. These are the attacks that we're going to be using for Risk Gate today. Hemin Squad, HP down, Specialist and Guard, Deployment Cost up, and then the Tiakao Brave. You wouldn't want to take any of the other attacks because number one, HP up and ASPD up means you're buffing the Tiakao Brave even more, making it harder to handle him. And ASPD down means you're going to take a long time to kill the enemies. So that's why no to those tags. I'm not going to take the win tag because I'm going to maintain the win so that we can use the slowdown and movement speed to our advantage. This is what they will be using. So there's a Kelsit at skill 3 M3. If you don't have that, please borrow from a friend. And if you don't have a friend with that, come to my Discord server and add someone over there. Um, minimally, I'm going to say that Kelsit needs to be level 50, maybe even level 40. Depends on your preference here. Um, of course, higher the level, the easier it will be. Then bring two Marksman Sniper, bring a single target medic, have a Charger Vanguard, and since we're not using fast redeploys, you can still use fast redeploys by the way, but considering that I'm trying to play with the risk here, that's why I'm going to use a pseudo fast redeploy at Yato, like a Yato at uh, level 30. And then for the other operators here, just bring whatever strong units that you have built to help you in this particular run. Let's play the stage. Howling Desert, Risk Gate. I'll start the map by placing crews first. Followed by Loom. Then I'm gonna set up the bottom part of the map. Which is gonna be a Kelsit. Along with her monster. And then I'm gonna place another sniper. And finally, a single target medic. Now, whensoever the Tiakao Brave is approaching monster, you want to put your fast redeploy right in front of him. So what I mean by that is that, do you see this crocodile coming in? Place a Yato, and then activate Kelsit's skill. The reason that you're doing this is that if you make monster face tank um, the Tiakao Brave directly, there's a good chance that monster will die. So we're having the fast redeploy there so that monster can deal some damage to it first and then afterwards do whatever tanking that he needs later on. So do the same thing again. We'll place Yato down. Yato comes in, blocks the guy, and then we turn on monster skill. You can see that the invisibility is kind of like um, taken off of the Tiakao Wave temporarily before um, he actually touches monster by placing an operator in front. If your medic dies, it's okay. Alright, so we'll do the same thing again. Let's place Yato to tank. You can see how monster is really struggling there. That is very worrying. It's okay that Plume dies. So if you feel like you don't like that Yato is being used, you want to use someone who can tank the Tiakao Brave a bit better, then you can use Gravel instead. Now we remove the Sniper, and then take out Monster. We just need to kill the easier enemy instead of handling the tougher one. So, I'm going to place Yato here, and then your sniper can actually handle him. Just like that. Should be pretty simple to follow. Hopefully this helps you guys, and if not, let's go on to the max risk. So, for max risk, I'm going to take a completely different set of operators. Let's take all of these, and we go to the higher rarity version. There's no more Kelsit this time. The reason that I'm not taking Kelsit is that if you notice about the Tiakao Brave, only the person that's blocking him is actually able to deal damage. So because of that, uh, I'm going to take other operators and I'm going to try not to block the Tiakao Brave. So I'm going to have Chen Alter and Schwartz. This is the Tiakao Brave killing lane, along with a Elysium to help out, and then also a Skadi Alter to buff these two operators. Then Axia is going to be the one to handle the smaller mobs that is in the stage. And following up, I'm going to use a Project Red on 
I suppose I'll use skill 2. And then I'm trying to look around. There is actually a particular operator that I'm forgetting. Oh yes, I remember now. It's an operator that a lot of people forget as well, which is a siege. So siege don't get featured in a CC very often, but it's nice for me to show you um, some fun with her in today's daily map. All right, I'll begin the stage with Elysium. Elysium has a nice um, talent where he's able to reduce the deployment cost of snipers by two. So that helps us in a lot of deployment here. I'm going to time Axia's skill a bit nicely around this amount of DP. And let's turn on Elysium's skill. I'll play Scouter along with a Siege. I'm just going to set up the bottom lane. So there's going to be a Chen Altar and a Schwartz. Okay. Let's say that. Alright, we're gonna kill the first Yakao Brave coming in. So I'll turn on Chen skill a little bit early. I'll turn on short skill also a little early, along with the Seaborn. And then I'll activate Elysium skill to reveal the crocodile that's coming down below. Okay, I'll be using Project Straight Stun to kind of hold this Shaman back a little longer and time it together with Axis skill. Just like that. Alright, Chen skill is still up. Enough bullets to deal with another Yakao Brave. Let's activate short skill. It's a Seaborn. And then reveal him. Beautiful. I don't I'm gonna try to nudge this guy into Axia's range. You know, peel off some HP from him. I'll stop chain skill after this sniper is killed. So that means that I'll be leaking the third Yakao Brave of the map. Now Skadi can handle one. Um, Shaman that's attacking him. If there's two, I will have to change up my strategy a little bit. I can remove Siege, let this guy lead. Let's turn on Chen skill. To help to deal with this one. Uh, I guess I'll stun him. We'll pull him back a bit. Let's remove Red. Alright, activating short skill. And then revealing the crocodile below. Axia is going to help to kill this sniper. And then I'm going to end off with a Project Raid sitting right here. Within the sniper's range. There you go! That's how I get max race for today. Beautiful race 15! There's still a lot more dailies coming in. We're approaching to the point where we have 10 days left. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying CC. I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!